came back, he uh, was in the bathroom and he closed the door on himself and couldn't open it up again. <laughs> so that was why he was screaming around. Okay, let's go out. Cats, I tell you, cats. They're like toddlers, but worse. Hi! I don't remember who you were from chat, but hi! Were you Keldar? I think you were Keldar. I think. Okay, I gotta leave. Uh, oh, Argent is working. Look at Argent. Look at them working hard. With the glasses on and everything. Very adorable. Okay, I gotta go to the forum. They have, they have, they have stuff to tell me. Let's go. Argent, yes. Argent has a very good fashion sense. I like their outfits. Okay, let's go. Hello. The form was in session and as such, the roast is close to it. I was called to get there. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> a sign of the seven John. Very well, you might wait in the corridor. Of course, entry will only be permitted on the condition you leave your armaments at the door. As you forget, the sacred institution holds rational discourses in the highest. The implements of war are expressless forbidden. Is this like there's no war in Bossing Say? Is is that the same level? Because it seems like it's the goddamn same level. Fashion is the true end game. I guess so. Uh, nobody is here though. Hello? Anyone? Okay, I'm just gonna wait here. It's fine. Don't worry. Oh look, I was too early. They weren't in session yet. There is a matter I wish to raise with you before we enter. Yeah, you're a dummy. We are here to listen and to learn. But if the forum's plans are more or less what I expect, then I should like to make a proposal that will serve our ends. By your leave, of course. Honey. Wait. Yes. Are you a little dumb dumb? I don't see why not. There? Your words and wits have gotten us this far. Agreed. I will present our queries so that you may consider the most advantageous way to advance your proposal without distraction. Thank you, everyone. Did you see no distractions? You're distracting me, sweetheart. If I may have your attention, the Wait. ad hoc session will now commence. Yes. Can you stop slapping me in the face, please? The purpose of today's assembly is to brief the scions of the Seventh Dawn at their request on the Great Exodus. Hello. Oh. My mouse was outside of the window. I was like clicking. You may enter. Didn't do shit. Look at us walking in. <laughs> Oh, he is not happy about this. Somehow. Hi there. On behalf of the Forum, I commend your heroic actions on the Magna Glacius. We shall not soon forget your service to us and the people of Radzat Han. The Sartrap whom we have informed of the refugees' new arrangements, sings your praises as well. As an expression of our gratitude, we will endeavor to answer your questions as fully and openly as we are able. Then let us begin. 
First, it is the Forum's objective to ferry the life and knowledge of this star to the moon. Am I correct? Babe, hey, what are you doing? You are. It is for this purpose that Charlian has labored these many long years. We have collected biological samples. Can you not set the microphone? <laughs> from across the star. Goodbye. When the time no. comes, let's not they do will that. be moved from their places in Labyrinthos and Numenon and conveyed to safety. Once that critical task has been accomplished, we will begin transporting the Charlian citizenry, which has been categorized into groups. The earliest arrivals are to ensure hospitable environs for those who come after. Following our people, we will send those of other nations in turn, beginning with our allies. Radzat Han was foremost among these. But since the final days have already come to Thavnir, we saw fit to include I love the you. refugees in lots and lots and lots. groupings. Thank you for your follow, Lord the Doric. I like your name. Thank you. Which one's the streamer? Yeah, my cat is a streamer now. An ambitious plan. You have accounted for the safety of all nations and tribes, then. Good morning! Good afternoon for me, but good morning for you! Hope you're having a lovely Sunday! As many as we can. And how, pray tell, do you decide who to leave behind? Mm -hmm, I'm curious about that, too. To journey beyond the sky is an unprecedented and immeasurably difficult endeavor. Introducing sources of inevitable conflict would condemn all to certain death. So what you're saying is you just take the ones with you you don't have a conflict with and all the others can just get left behind and die. Is that it? Like, I get where you're coming Questions from, but that's a bit harsh. the validity of that approach aside, are your plans proceeding apace? We're under the impression that your primary means of celestial transportation is incomplete. Why are you screaming at me? Hmm? Well? Well, well? If only in that it does not meet our optimal parameters, that is correct. You mean optimal parameters, but does it meet any type of parameter? This arc, as some have taken to calling it, is fully operational and could be launched even today. Okay, but then what's the difference between your optimal and, 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 and the thing that it is now? However, the final days have progressed more quickly than we anticipated. At mean. present, the ship is incapable of attaining speeds sufficient to meet our evacuation targets. So you couldn't save all the people you want? Is that what you're saying? Should we put the vessel into service, as it is now, we will be unable to travel to the moon and back quickly enough to complete the necessary number of trips. Precious lives and knowledge will be lost. Hmm. Is there anything to be done? Well, you know, you could have listened to us when we told you guys that, you know, the world end is coming, but like, you didn't care about that. The ether burner, the primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space between stars, is undergoing testing to determine whether it can be made more efficient. Though cargo is being loaded for the initial phase of the exodus, we are prepared to continue our experimentation up to the day before launch, should it prove necessary. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? How will we do that? H how will we do that? We shall help devise a means to improve the ether burner's efficiency on two conditions. Do we... Do we, do we have the knowledge for that? If we succeed, you must allow us to meet with Hydaelyn. Hi Luna, how you doing? It was simple enough to deduce. You have a Concord, and so you would never have abandoned the Anti-Tower had you no other means of communication. 
one far more convenient, I suspect. <laughs> What's the, the second, second condition? Thing? Also to be met upon our success mm. is that we be permitted to propose another use for your ark. An another? Like We would be at liberty to refuse this proposal. I mean, you can refuse of course. it. If we cannot prove its merit to the 99 here, who are we to stake on it the lives of all peoples of this star? <laughs> Delightful as always, Master Alfino. <laughs> I like him. We couldn't have asked for a finer plan. Allow us to solve this complex engineering problem of which we were entirely unaware until moments ago. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the satire writes itself. <laughs> Yet, what field has not benefited from a change in perspective? When we are at wit's end, what we need is not the same dry theories recited ad nauseam, but fresh inspiration. Yeah, let us, let us look at your very complex ether burner problem. I'm sure I'm sure we can solve it. I, for one, have faith in my erstwhile students to provide it, and I find their terms to be perfectly acceptable. That's one word for us! Hi, Admiral. How are you order. doing? Order! Order! We have no time to waste on debate. I call a vote. All in favor of agreeing to the Scion's terms? Please tell me that's enough. Please tell me that's enough. Come on, Daddy, you have to put your hand up. Daddy, I'm watching you. Put your hand up. Look, even he is putting his hand up. 71 in favor, 28 against. The eyes have it. Fortuno, oh, don't be so the angry. Architect of this project, you are the best candidate to show them its current state. And bear in mind... That regardless of your personal misgivings, this is the will of the forum. <laughs> that he was like, I, I'm not in for this. Very well. <laughs> Damn democracy. <laughs> I don't think he invented it. Call this session to a close. Return to your tasks with urgency. The final days wait for none. No, it does wait for no one. That's indeed true. Ah, oh. why he's so angry? What did we do to him? Like, mate, we're offering some help. Sorry about not letting the rest of you in on my plan. I was admittedly thinking on my feet for the most part, but since he require both a means of commuting with Hydaelyn and reaching Midian. And oh, he wants to use the craft to go after Median. Oh, they will not allow that, will they? They won't, because it's their only thing that they can use to get their asses to safety. In the spur of the moment, I start involving ourselves with the completion of the arc as a way to work towards both objectives simultaneously. However, we must first keep our, keep our end of the bargain by solving the problem of the ether burner. I like to think it's not a challenge beyond our combined expertise, or at least the expertise of our extended circle of associates. I might behove us to learn how an ether burner actually works before we attempt to improve it though. Yeah, how about we learn how to- what the fuck that even is? Before we try to like, you know, solve an issue we have like no fucking clue about. As instructed, I shall take you to see the ether burner. 
Meet me outside the Archeon. I trust you can make your own way there. He is so angry. He is so angry with us. So the Ark is being built in the Labyrinthus. How is surprising. Where else could they conceal such a massive undertaking? Da, 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 da. Where are we going? Oh, far away. Let's teleport there, huh? Um, I can't! Oh, you look so cute! I still want this stupid cat outfit. Did you ever tell me where you got it from? Was it the store? Is that the store outfit I want so badly? I think it might be. One day, one day I will buy the stupid cat store outfit. I promise you guys. Our destination lies in the lower levels. The firm and its wisdom has granted you access to the Archean's lab. Step inside and have Ophelia take you to the media circuit. Oh, it's supposed to Ambwalker? Oh. But do you think China and America are building the huge spaceships? Do you say they're building it in the Archean? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you? What are you trying to tell me with that? America has a lot of land. I'm pretty sure they built it somewhere in there. It took some grinding. Oh no. Maybe maybe it's easier if I just pay them money, huh? Wish to use the lift. Yes. Sure. Oh, I know where we are. We're, we're in that doom thingy stuffy where there's a lot of life stuff. Wait, I remember, but we also met the, the, the bunny. The, the, the hot bunny. The merchant bunny. I mean, they probably like build stuff in the deserts or so. Don't know. I don't know, man. I don't think they need to hide stuff. They have NASA. I'm pretty sure they're building stuff at NASA too. I've sent your associates to head to Logistic Alpha on the other side of Mariel Agronomics. <laughs> Goodbye, Argus. The Hub Bunny Arable. Yeah, I'm not good with names. Look, Tom, Tom, Tom already knows who I'm talking about. We had so many discussions about characters and <laughs> I never remember names. She knows at this point already. She already gets me. Actually, there is something I have a meaning to. Come on, talk to me. No, never mind. It can't wait. It can't! The world is literally ending. Just talk to me. Let us attend to the mother at hand. Sure. Let's go. Yo! Hey Argent, by Argent. Uh, where do I go? Over there. Wait. I can go this way. Oh god, I remember the psychos of stupid rats. They were terrible. Hello, goodbye. Hey, the music is way too heavy for the fact that the world is literally ending. Oh, is that the grapes? Should we should we take a look at the grapes one last time? Look at them. Look at the beautiful grapes. I never saw grapier grapes than this. Okay. Um. Argan, honey. I know the grapes are amazing. You don't have to die for them, though. Uh, where do we go? That way. There's a frog! Get up, get up! Yeah, before the graves get updated. They will never be the same. They will never be the same. They will always be in our hearts. In the depths of our heart. Why is that listening? I love you lots and lots and lots. Thank you for your follow, Feroxy. Welcome. I cannot interact with it though. Giving me mixed informations. 
Hello, hello. How you doing? How's your Sunday? Uh, do I need to go in? I probably need to go in. Yeah. Hello, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just walking through with a wolf. It's what the hell is that? That is adorable. It looks like a heartless with clothing on. Look at it. It's adorable as heck. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. Um, yeah. It's a mammoth. It's adorable. <laughs> oh no. I have a lot of emotions about, about this expansion so far. They're not all positive, but um, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. That's 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 the most important part about it. You have to wait here while our father arranges for us to use the next lift. The music is so. The music is like so chill. It's it's not like the world is just ending outside there. The music is just like having the best time of its life. Here, being logistic alpha, where the atmospheric conditions of Labyrinth is irregulated. Water is drawn from underground and dispersed as vapor, simulating the formation of artificial clouds and rain. And manipulating the temperature and air circulation, they are able to create the ideal environment for the growth and preservation of the biological samples kept here. It's only made they create rain when they could just not. Hold on, how do you know so much about it? Why, oh, father brought me here as a child. What? And left me behind? Actually, you are the one who left me behind when you went off somewhere with grandfather. The night before, I had been asking father how clouds are made, so he decided to show me. It was fascinating. I peppered him with questions the entire time. It's all too easy to take for granted the many intervening aspects of the natural world to grow in art to the wondrous. But having gained an understanding of the complex mechanism employed by the Loporis and recreating a similar environment, I've come to view such process in a new light. The subterranean gardens of Labyrinthus, the lunar prison forged to contain the ancient zodiac, the habitations built for all mankind leave the moon's surface, each unique yet undeniably similar. Hi Aurora, welcome, sweetheart, how you doing? If you actually make end walk is free. Hmm. I think you can play the stone blood. Is Heaven Sword also free already? Heaven Sword, oh, Shadow Bringers, I mean. Because I know you can play till Storm Blood for free now. I think Shadow Bringers is still you still need to buy it, don't you? You just see me cry more? Oh no. No, Shadow Ringers is not free. I thought so. This is no mere coincidence. Oh, Daddy is back. Ever since Highland unfolded us to the grim fate that awaits the furious, every essential resource we could spare has been delivered to Labyrinthus in preparation for the great exodus. But that is not all. It is also a testing ground for the technologies that will allow us to settle on the distant stars. Though the Loporis have endeavored to make the moon inhabitable, it is not our final destination. Mankind must learn to propagate life where there is none to thrive where the all is burned. You know, the only thing I'm I'm questioning, like, Heidelin sundered the planet, and then she only worked up the time and energy to save the main planet? Because, like, with the main star, like the source here none of the other stars that are like still living can survive like they will all just die with the source you can't tell me that was Heidelin's big plan there has to be more behind that she couldn't just like want like one part of her sundered people to survive that would be like stupid wouldn't it Time to find out. Oh no. Oh god. 
Uh, Sam is not on our side. I have arranged for you all to enter the central circuit. It is there that most of our preparations for the great exodus are carried out. The constructions of the Ark among them. It's a core, yeah, but like she still cares about the other stars. We could see that in Shadowbringers. She didn't truly want the first to like die. I guess. We don't need another Sundering. Why? The Sundering led us to this here. We don't need another one. Though our plans have been made public, access remains highly restricted. You, however, will not be subjected to state restrictions and will have free reign to come and go as you please. Such was all the will of the form after all. They were like the sources so hard. So when the source is eliminated, all the other stars are limited too. But as of now, it does sound like her plan is, oh, go to the moon, source people, and like abandon ship and everyone else is just gonna die. It doesn't matter. And I don't think that's her plan plan. Maybe that's her backup plan Z or something. I think her main plan is something else. I, I just can't imagine the Highland that we, we met to just like not care of all the other stars that are like still out there with like the population and everyone. That's all I'm saying. We will provide ourselves with of their trust. Your trust. And let us proceed. And let us proceed. Yeah, I don't need the thingy stuff in here. Oh, it's a new area! <gasps> we were not done here yet. But it created the forum, the signs of the seventh dawn are permitted to enter the circum. Yes! Let's go. It's all lies, she's actually a succubus. I better hope she isn't. The ether burner is being constructed not far from here. I was seeing the work is Kukul Dunkle after whom the forge is known. Once the necessary introductions have been made, I shall leave you with him to discuss the particulars. This way. Mm -hmm. Look at us go! A new place! Okay, wait, can I can I go to you? Where, where where is the big shiny crystal? I wanna go to the big shiny crystal. Before I go the other way. Can I go to the big shiny crystal? Oh, there are multiple shiny crystals. Wait. Where is the crystal? Is it inside here? No, wait. I'm taking a detour, I'm very sorry about that. But I need to go to the big shiny crystal. Can you like have a house here? This looks like it could be a residential area. Okay, I think it's it's around the corner there. This is a residential area, isn't it? Hi, Tama. Hi, Tama. I'm gonna touch the shiny rock. Shiny. Okay. We gotta move. I have to. I have to be at a completely different place, guys. I'm sorry. It is, but not for us. Terrible. Terrible. How can it not be for us? Where's my fat cat? Wait. Is it not here because it's raining? Wait, where's my cat? Maybe it's not here because it's raining. I need to check when the rain is over. It can't be that my cat is not with us. The cat has to come with us till the end of days. Ah, oh, fashion takes the same thing as- okay, okay, okay. 
So because I have a stupid umbrella. Okay, okay. That's fine though. My umbrella was very, very worth it. I grinded for my umbrella. Look at my cute umbrella. Isn't it adorable? I love my umbrella. Your head? Where are you? What is it your head? What is it your head? You look normal. What is it? What is it? My cat turned into an umbrella. That's indeed true. I'm, I'm confused. What am I missing? She has a fax turn. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I, I can't turn it on. Wait, where do I turn it on? Um, is it on the graphics? Mm, no. Where do I turn effects on? Other settings? Uh, if you tell me where I do that character config, okay, wait. And then? Hello, hotbar, display, UI? Character tab, okay. Headgear, voicer. I only have battle effects. Is that a... I can go on show limited, is that doing it? Show all? Oh my god. I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. Da, 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 da. Well, that was a bunny hat. A bunny hat for a bunny. Okay, wait, my pet cat is back. Good. I, I had to check. I had to check if my cat is actually back. I, I like your thing you're, you're walking on. I still need to, like, get my... I have not grinded the areas yeah I should probably do that so I can fly in them and just like move faster it's okay one point I will grind for them at one point I will grind for that you too can own this onion I want an onion I definitely want an onion uh, I don't need to repair my stuff yet. But... So after we had a little detour, <laughs> because I needed to to touch the shiny rock, it was very important to touch the shiny rock. Look, someone else is here with their little umbrella. Aww. You look pretty. Okay, we probably are at the same point because they're just talking to them. Could swap them out. No, been there, done that. Damn near lost me eyebrows. Think, Coco, think. We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments. If you'd only think. Yes. Are you okay? That does sound rather lovely. Yeah. I mean, Master Fulsh, you know, <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? Why are the we not calling him Sid? He seems like knowledgeable. Which is why the forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner conundrum. Huh. Not seen you lot down here before. It's technically 10 people. There are archons among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. 
If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface. Oh. By whatever means you see fit. Dude, what the fuck? What do you mean by whatever means? I assure you that won't be necessary. Now, about your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. Suppose I could do with a change of pace. As the name ought to tell <laughs> you, the ether burner burns indeed. Ether, ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. So Even like the out sun? in that black void where the ether's right sparse, it's strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> and it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. That's cool. That it <sighs> probably won't kill me? But it ain't perfect. According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forums like him, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. That's a lot. A measly six percent, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another That's a lot. I didn't out of see it, a measly. Don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? Hast thou consulted with the Loperits? Yes. Already? They too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. Hmm. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. Yes, exactly! Damn it all, oh, I asked for a fine adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology! You're trying to drive me mad! Did you like, thought about like making like another ship so you have like, two? Is that a possibility? Just build another? Do you speak of elegant refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it. If you, you think he's a little stressed? I don't know. He seems totally normal. You, you average nine to five Only worker. Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. Twas an alloy of elegant make, but the secrets of its production were closely guarded. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of Aoife come rushing through. Ain't a living soul that knows how to make it, though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the Aoife burner, just a wee bit, mind from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the calamity. With more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency would be child's play. It's a crying shame. Should I go back no to you the, the thirst? Should I get some? Is there some there? Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, <laughs> we oh, tried, sort of believe you me. But only a few specialized pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Is it Fat Crust again? Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. The world is ending, I guess we're gonna fetch quest really now. Need. According to the gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defenses are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. It's rough going in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. A good thing it's me. I'm Weren't the plotter we near that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut. <laughs> you want me to go and fetch the whistle? <laughs> it haunts me. <laughs> this sounds like a job for someone else. <laughs> I am. My character is also so fed up with all of these fetch quests. Uh, I guess I gotta go. That may be for the best, though you doubtless find the task too dull for your liking. So is someone else going? Hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather. If we could salvage adamantite from the shards simultaneously. 
Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's wood. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Understood. Your kid traveled I will the contact world. Lord Commander and dispatch our finest. You made a lot of friends. Why, why is Zeddy like so confused about that? Uh, like he is lovable. Of course he's making friends and allies. My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days. So I will lead the Twelveswood expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists. Oh. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all. Are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the Lesser Moon scar our soil. But our stake in this cause is no less for it. Is there anything in Othard that might be of use to you? Othard, you say? Oh, you got friends in far places, lad. Yes, I, I traveled the world and saved them multiple times. Any road, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those Far Eastern sacred relics. Some of them can hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Combine a source like that with the ether burner, and three, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? Look, I think like we, we are his birthday, New Year, and Christmas one together. <laughs> his stress is done. dissipated. I know little of machines, but I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. I gotta I just have the same work, feel. In truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping this plunder for the taking? And I'm a born plunderer. I'll be an old Charlian before you know it. Start mixing the grog. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all, and do be careful. Just like that. Easy peasy. Saving the world. Aye, Snow just biggie. like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done. He did grow up to be a good leader, though. You missed that Alphina being a really, really nice leader. And the most stressed person. Turning into the cutest one. He's just leaving. He's like, okay, I guess. I guess I'm not needed here. Let me just go back. Okay, let me make some lights though, because now I turn dark. The sun, the sun is gone. The sun decided it is time to go. Heidi Yolo? I probably mispronounced your name. I'm very sorry about that. He has a good story arc. Do you mean Alfino? Yes. Alfino is one of my favorites. And I'm not biased here. <laughs> I'm not. And it was pretty bad. I'm sorry! <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? That's a lot of letters. It's it's time like these we're reminded of how fam famous or infamous Alfino has become. Who would have thought he could achieve so much with a single link pro conversation? 
As we're expected, write a lot of visitors in the near future. I'd best return to the surface and inform the relevant partners. Alfino is your second verse? What? He's such a good character. Kado Lo. Oh, okay. I would have not gotten that one. I'm sorry. Alice, I don't mind Alice. Alice is okay. Bird verse? Who is your favorite? If you say Orion Jer, I'm gonna ban you from this channel. <laughs> Who is your favorite? I'm curious. I also have a contact of my own that might be worth a try. I think my favorite is Graha and Alfino. After that comes Estinian and Fancred, then Ishtola and Alice. Yeah. And Uriandra is fun. I don't like the way he's talking. Ishtala, Ishtala is a good one. Ishtala, Ishtala is a good is a, is a good pick. I, I can live with guys loving Ishtala. That's fine. Alisa and Graha? Graha irritates you. Graha is the sweetest boy on earth. He's just a little simp. Oh, and who might that be? That's for me to know and you to find out. And on that note, I'll leave matters here in your capable hands. Best of luck. Graha is your worst? How could you say that? I, I want to go to his face. Wait, I, I, I wanted to show you his face and ask you if this face could be the worst. 